Through amazing friends, through amazing friends, through good good reads, you know, sometimes you just read lots of articles um, that your friends send you. Uh, but I, I think that you, you shouldn't try too hard, right? You shouldn't really try too hard in a hobby. Um, and I think most of them are influence of uh, a knowledge that I receive from my, as I friends, you know, even Tom Tandio, uh, they they enlighten me with their experience and knowledge because sometimes your knowledge uh, doesn't really mean much it's about what you experience and how you perceive things like all these um, you can't really learn if not by time you know so um, yeah so I really think that it's, it's the friends that that have me made like made me mature and also I think when you grow older you see different things you feel different things um, yeah, I think it's just sort of a process, a natural process that you don't try to try too hard, you know, yeah, yeah, very natural. I think this is a personal opinion, very personal, but uh, a lot of people are saying, okay, you have to learn the, the artist, okay, the basics, okay, the foundation. You need to know, okay, who is the artist, right? So just, just understand um, where, where the artists have studied and where they have exhibited their works before. Um, you need to also know a little bit about the gallery, right? Uh, that's the background check that people always say, you know, you should. Because it's an investment. In a way, I, wouldn't, I, would, I don't like to call it an investment, but you're spending on it. Even if you buy clothes, you know, and things like that, you need to understand where it comes from, right? So I think that's the basic foundation you need to do. Um, I think it's best not to ask or think about the price. You know, you don't 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 look at the price because I find a lot of people find like our good artworks means expensive. Yeah, if you show them an artwork that's uh, not famous yet and you say it's good, you know they will they will not really agree with you until they know the price or who it is, right? So try not to think about that. Um, but personally, to me. It's about how you connect with the art piece, um, but at the same time, after you feel that you've connected with the art piece, you need to understand what it is you're collecting for. So what is it that you collect, right? Um, for example, what you've seen, like what, what is it, you know? So as a human being, you're shaped to understand a lot of different things and you are connected to a lot of different things because you've lived for 30 years, for example. I'm 30, right? Um, you know, uh, a lot of things can be connected to me, but this, that's a lot of art, right? So you really need to understand what is it that you're collecting in which subject and what means to you the most and try to focus on that, you know, to collect and to buy something that you really, really would love for, which is very hard to, to predict for at least, you know, a decade or half a decade, you know, try to, um, in a way, you don't want it to be rujak. A lot of things, you know. And what is it, you know? So yeah, this is what I mean. Like you can you can basically go through uh, because I realized this not too long ago, you know. Because I mean, it's a learning process for me. But I used to like a lot of things. Like oh, this is nice, isn't it? And then when I look at it, I say, like, what is this? You know, it's messy, right? So you need to really, really, really select. You really need to think. Um, what makes you want to buy that just because you believe in it? You believe in a lot of things, yeah? You, you know, you have a lot of values, right? So understanding yourself is the key to me. Otherwise, why would you buy it? If it's not you, why? Okay, if it's not you, is it because of your belief? Is it because of investment? Is it because you want to resell it? You know, um, yeah, I think it's different. I know there's people who would buy art they don't like to make the collection beautiful. You know, I have heard about a, a very, very famous collector. Um, he is Swiss and he collects Chinese artworks, thousands, thousands. There's some he doesn't like.
but he collects it for the sake of having this particular artist, for example, you know. But that's okay because he's totally new level, you know. He he can buy all these things, um, all these amazing art pieces. He financially can support that. He has, uh, his, um, you know, he's already bought so many that it's him, right? But he wants to go further. He wants to make a museum out of it, for example. Um, this is not wrong, you know, but, but what is the essence of art if you do not love it, if you do not feel it, right? Because it's something artistic, it's an uh, emphasized articulation of a person's view, a person's um, take on things, you know, it's their, their way of expression. So if there is none of this feeling from you when you buy it, what is the worth of the art? You know, it becomes a little bit worthless to you, right?